This is Halloween, this is Halloween, 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 Halloween. Let's jump in. Look at these gnomes, they're adorable. Dollar Tree is on fire. Welcome to another video with Lock with Leilani. I wanted to come on and share with you guys some of the finds that I got at Dollar Tree today. These are all Halloween finds. Everything is $1.25, so let me go over everything with you guys. First of all, this container that's behind everything is a container that I picked up from my storage. It has a lot of baking things, oven mitts and stuff like that. I have not gone through it yet because I did pick it up from my storage on Saturday this past weekend. I'm actually doing this video for you guys, and it's actually Tuesday. I'm probably going to share this video on Saturday I think either Friday or Saturday so let's jump in so first off you guys can see this is the showpiece it this is a showpiece item the gnomes these gnomes are $1.25 each you have the Frankenstein gnome super cute you guys can see the size they're pretty much the same size as like most of the gnomes that they get every year like you get them for um, Valentine's Day you get them for um, the 4th of July the red white and blue ones that they had this year you also got some for Easter with the little bunny ears and then you will get some for Christmas as well. Um, some stores have a $5 section. I don't have a $5 section in my stores here in California yet. I live in Southern California. I'm hoping we get it. The gnomes are a little bit bigger, but these are perfect. I love these so much. If you guys don't know, know yet about me, I do like to get two sets of gnomes because I like to be able to put, you know, usually get sets of four from Dollar Tree. So typically if there's gnomes out for whatever season, there's four. So they always come in fours. So when you find them, you're definitely looking for four of them. Um, the second one that I picked up is the cute little ghost and it's like a mummy ghost with like the little eyes up here. And then this one's like a witch one. And then this one is like a warlock or something like that, magician or something. Um, I also picked up these signs. There's also an orange sign that says like, um, I think it says bats and something. It's an orange one. I don't know if there's more than the three, but I did pick up the witches in and I picked up have a spooky, creepy, frightful Halloween. That's a mouthful, right? And then they also have the cute little birds. You guys know I'm a big Target person. I do share a lot of Target stuff on my Instagram at Lock with Leilani. If you guys are not following me there, then make sure that you guys follow me over there as well. These are the birds that they had, and these are adorable. So this one is like a jack-o'-lantern with a little hat. He looks like he has pajamas on to me. This one right here is like a little ghost one. It says boo on it, and he has like the little bat ears on top. These are super cute. They're not as thick as the ones from, from Target, but they're still pretty good quality. Um, this one right here is one of my favorites. It has like a little witch broom, and it's like a little pumpkin witch or something. I don't know. And then this one is really cute too. It's like a Frankenstein one. And these do have a lot of felt on them and like a foam. So these are some of the things that I picked up. I also picked up, this is like a iridescent, I don't know, it's like an iridescent kind of, um, hold on a second, I think I'm take, getting a phone call. This is like an iridescent, like little jar container or whatever. So I did pick that up, just one. I think there's two different ones. I did buy some more ribbon. This was like a new ribbon that they put out today. So I wanted to grab this to do for my wreath that I'm gonna be doing coming up. And let's see, I have so much more, you guys. Look how much more I have to share with you guys. So stay tuned. Right. I thought this was absolutely adorable. It's so pretty and bright with all the, the glitter colors and stuff on there. Some people don't like the glitter. I love glitter. I feel like nothing has too much glitter for me. I may even go in and put some more glitter. We'll put some glitter on this because he doesn't have any glitter. I feel like he should. Um, and then I was able to find these like couple books. These are like fake books that open up. Um, you can open them. Let's see. Oh, you know what? You can open them. Look, they don't open. Huh? They don't open. I stand corrected. They do not open. They're just um, wooden books, but they're actually a pretty nice um, quality. They're a nice quality. Excuse me, I'm belching. Um, it says Celestina Fortuna, and it says um, Secrets of the Stars. It says Fortunes, Tarots, and Horoscopes. These are perfect for those that put up like kind of like a little witch corner. This one says Mastering Malevolence. And it says a detailed guide to malice, mischief, and evil deeds. This one is really pretty. And that's how it looks on the corner. So if you were to stand them up together, though, they do not open, like I said. Um, this one says crystal magic with a K. Okay. A mystical compendi compendium to crystal stones and geodes. It says the essential guide for harnessing the ancient magic of the earth. That's really pretty too. So all of these go together. I'm just trying to see if they all, any of them open. They don't. There was only three like that. So this is how you would stand those up. Um, the other thing that I picked up too is this one sign. I only saw one sign 
at Dollar Tree today. It just says, hey, boo on it. It's super cute though. So I did pick that up. And then I also picked up these plates. These are the other ones I didn't show you guys. I had another bag of stuff. Um, this one says, happy Halloween. And it just has like the haunted house on. These are kind of the plates that are kind of scooped a little bit. So like, you know, if you have something that has some sauces, like nachos or something like that on here, that sounds good, right? Some nachos, like homemade nachos for Halloween. That might be what I do this year. I may do this year. If we're not gone anywhere for Halloween this year, like we weren't last year, boo-hoo. Since we haven't had Disney passes, we have not been back to the parks yet, even since pandemic. Can you guys believe it? Um, and then there was one more cup that I did not share with you guys. There's four total. The three that I showed you guys earlier that were like in this bright color, but there's also a Dracula. So there's four. Um, I also picked up these two pails. There's a couple other pails that I want to get. They have like the pumpkin cutout. There's a, a orange pumpkin one. And then there's a black one that has a cutout. So you can put like a tea light in it. And then once you put the tea light in it, it will reflect through the open areas. But this is one that I did want to get. This is just like the jack-o'-lantern button, but bucket, excuse me. This is really cute. You could put like little utensils. You could put candies in there. I mean, anything like if you're baking, you could just kind of use that bucket, put your baking supplies in there. You know, little things like spatulas and stuff like that and bring it over to the counter. You can keep all of your little packets of, um, you know, little sprinkles and different things like that in there. Any of like the little um color gels or you know whatever you want to just keep stuff in here this is really cute to have and this is the other one that i found today this one's really cute it says let's boogie let's boogie and then it says happy halloween it says we got the candy which is a candy corn which is my favorite and then um trick or treat and then just all the way around it it says the same thing but i do like these because they have like kind of like the chunky handles and they're a little bit bigger than the usual i did think that i do think that they gave us some more size on those compared to past years um last but not least i picked up some fudge brownie mix has nothing to do with the halloween haul that i'm doing but their betty crocker fudge brownie mix is really really good i add about um a tablespoon or so of um of vanilla and then i do a half a tablespoon of almond extract just to give it a different flavor it's so so good and i make this when i'm in the in the mood for brownie and then i did pick up this pan i'm trying to think if i picked it up before but it's been staring at me. It's like a pumpkin pan. So I figure, you know, with fall coming, if you guys see this in your store, there are two different designs on here. Um, there's like a long, I don't know if you guys can see, but there's like a long shaped like um, plant. Like, um, I don't know if that's like a gourd, I guess. And then this is like a pumpkin, right? So you get three of the pumpkins and three of the gourds. I don't know if you guys can tell, but this is longer than the pumpkin. So I picked that up. And then I also picked up two of the aluminum cake plates because when I get ready to bake a cake, I want to do like a two layer cake and I did not have any pans. I have the aluminum like paper ones, you know, like the aluminum ones that you could throw away, but I want to get some like this. I haven't purchased any of these in a really long time. So yeah. So anyways, that is it guys. Um, so let me share the rest of the stuff with you guys. There's a couple other things. I'm sitting in the front room of my house trying to get some light. It's 102 here. I just put the air on so I could put this video together for you guys. I'm just sitting on the floor in my front room. Um, this is like a little bit of view, my front room. Yep, just sitting in here making a video for you guys. So yeah, so down here I have the, the all three of these. These are the three options. They're absolutely just cute, cute, cute. They're super wonky and fun, just wacky little straw cups. I had to get them. You have Frankenstein right here. You guys have the Frankenstein one. This is so adorable with the pink hat the pink topper, and then the little bendy straw. And then you have the skull with the little pink top and the bendy straw. And then you have the orange one. Look how cute he is with the eyes. So funny. With the pink lid and the bendy straw. They all have the same exact lids on them. And then I also picked up, this is just like a LED. This is like a wood one. Usually these are like ones that you could paint, but they painted this one. So if you like wanted to repaint it, you could. You pull the tab out and it's just an LED wood light. I just picked up one for like a tear tray or whatever um, because I have a bunch of these from last year. As you guys can see, this container behind me is from like the last two years of Halloween, mainly Dollar Tree stuff. Another thing I picked up, they have a couple different projectors out. This projector, I already have one of these, but I can't remember how many I picked up. And then there's another one that kind of looks like a flashlight that I also picked up. And it just happens to be this pumpkin is laying up here, but Dollar Tree does have this like pumpkin little gumball machine looking thing. Um, let me see if I can turn it over. This is one that I had for last year and it was actually inside of that container, but this is how it looks. I just added like a little Mickey Dracula cutout on it. This is from last year. I just, just taped that on there. So it's all bent up from last year, but this is also from Dollar Tree. I have this from last year. And then I picked up a couple pairs of socks because I like to be cozy definitely all year long. I'll wear these all year long too, but they had three different designs. I don't know if they're going to get more, but this is the purple one with the black bats and the green eyes. And these are sizes five through nine. 
I am a size 10 and I wear them fine. They fit great. They will shrink up a little bit when you wash them, but it's not that big of a like deal breaker. I mean, they're $1.25. Grab a couple pairs for you and your kids or, you know, if you just want to be able to have a couple to kind of get through the season. But these should get you through the season. And then, of course, these black ones with the orange jack-o'-lanterns and the green stems. And then these are really cute. These are just the skull ones in black with the white. The other thing that I picked up too are these three cups. A lot of these boxes, guys, I was actually pulling a lot of the stuff out myself. Like the gnomes, the manager was so sweet. She's like, oh, I found them. Go ahead and get what you want. She like opened the box up for me and I took, actually took three sets. There was like, I don't know if there's like six to eight sets inside the box, maybe eight sets of each one. So basically like four to six of each one of these gnomes. And like I said, there's four different options. I did get two sets for myself because I do like to do these in my family room when I decorate for Halloween um, and Christmas and Easter and, you know, all the holidays I decorate for. I always get two sets, um, but I always make sure there's some left over. I did get two sets for fall as well. I think I showed you guys some of that stuff, but I haven't done my fall inventory yet for you guys. I'll probably be doing it in here as well. You know, kind of showing you guys some of the stuff. Not every single thing that I have for fall when I do that video, but I will be showing it. I feel like I'm backwards right now because fall is going to hit before Halloween. But these things just came out and everybody's on the Halloween thing. So I have to stay on that same like course. But yeah, so here are the three cups. These are absolutely adorable. I couldn't pass up all three of them. I just had to get them. This first one, I like the way that they give you like the black and white striped straw. So the first one right here is a little ghost, like a little witch ghost. And you know, ghost items are really hot this year, really more popular than ever before. But you know, ghosts are a part of Halloween. So it's just like that. Um, also the jack-o'-lantern right there. And then I also have the witch one over here. I don't want to reach too much. I did have a back spasm Today is Tuesday, like I said, when I'm filming this for you guys. Yesterday, 11 a.m., I ended up with a back spasm just out the blue. When I was going to make coffee at 11 a.m., I was reaching in my fridge to get creamer, and all of a sudden, my back just started hurting. It wasn't because I was reaching in the fridge. It just came on all of a sudden. I don't know why, but it was really bad, so I was just like, OMG, let me, um, let me just sit back and chill because, yeah, I just, I need to just chill right now, so I'm not going to be reaching too, too much, but um, here's another item that i picked up this is a witch hat for like chips or candies um you can put chips around it unfortunately it's not a, a cut out in the middle for like salsa but it's just absolutely adorable this witch hat so it's definitely like a serving tray type thing let's see what it says it just says tray on the bottom so if you wanted to like if you're having a little party or you know whether you have a party with you and maybe two or three kids or you and your husband you and your pets or you know a big party for you and your family or neighbors or whatever this is adorable to just put like some snacks on there you could put like some pretzels and do a mixture of things you can just kind of do it like almost like a charcuterie you could do like pretzels you could do um some cheese it's you could do some plain you know barbecue chips plain chips whatever you want to put on there you could do popcorn and pretzels you could do fruit all the way around it if you want to roll up like some turkey meat and put some crackers on there some cheese I mean it's all kind of different things that you guys can do with this but I did just pick up one because I that's all I needed was one so that's all I picked up uh, let's see what else I have here um I have some plates and stuff that I'm going to share with you guys but these are the napkins that I picked up these are really cute and let me start moving some of this stuff so I can share with you guys some of the other things that I purchased. Okay, guys, so the other thing that I picked up, I did not see the Witch's Cauldron sign. So I'm still on the lookout for that one. They had like, I told you, they told me yesterday when I, when I went in there, I did buy some other things at the store yesterday at Dollar Tree. This is where everything is at, of course. And if you guys are not subscribed, make sure that you guys subscribe to my channel so that you guys will not miss another video. And let me know in the comments if you guys have seen anything from Dollar Tree that's Halloween yet in your store and if you've picked anything up or if there's anything in this video that you're really liking, really digging, that's fun and spooky and happy that you guys want to pick up. Let me know in the comments. Um, there's a cauldron sign that I really want to get. These two, this one I did not see before. This one says, welcome to my frightfully creepy crypt. I love that one. This one right here, I saw already in the store. I did not pick it up and I'll tell you why. I saw it the last few times I went because Halloween's been out for a minute. I just haven't made a video on it. Um, this one right here, it looks like it has like some kind of stain in the center, if you guys can see that, but they all kind of look like that. So I don't know, but I really like this one. Another thing, if you guys didn't know, if you guys made like a regular wreath and you know, you just wanted to like not have to put anything in the front of it or something like that, you could totally just like put one of these signs in the front of your wreath, just attach it to the front of your wreath and just hang it on your door. Um, or if you didn't want to even do a wreath, you could just hang one of these signs on your door, just make sure it's sturdy so you can hang it up. But this is a adorable i love this one um it looks like this one's gonna be fine i'll probably ha hang it on my staircase or something like that and then this one right here it just says trick or treat it says fright this way ghosts and goblins happy halloween it says boo 
jack-o'-lanterns and happy hauntings the other thing that i picked up was the led tea lights these are really really nice and these are convenient for your decor um i picked up two of the skeleton ones and then two of the pumpkin ones these are really cute because they are decorative you can lay them down you can put them inside of your gumball machines i like to do those for the holidays um i'll do like a little scary scene another place to get the little small like pieces they they can vary from like 4.99 to like 12.99 try to get them when they're on sale at michael's michael's does have those um and you can put like a little they have different ones every year it's like the little villages that they have i forget what they're called the brand but um you can pick those up and basically you can decorate with those inside of your gumball machines. I did put a scene together in one of my gumball machines for Halloween. I think it might still be in my black gumball machine, which is in my storage facility spot. But I did put one together like that with some spider webs last year with a little light in it. You can do cute little things like that if you can find little small things like that. But the best option for me to tell you is to go to Michael's and look at their little village pieces that they have. Some of them light up as well because I have some that light up. The other thing that I picked up are these lace table runners. Last year at Target, they had the ones, I think it's called cheesecloth, and I didn't get enough of it. But my dining room table, you guys, it looks so creepy and fun. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys, have you had, if you follow me on Instagram or you have followed me on Instagram, you guys probably saw it over the last couple of years. But I just wanted to pick up two of these just in case I want to do something with them. I don't know if they're going to be as long as the length of my formal dining room table. It's pretty long. So hopefully it's long enough, but you know, definitely you want to pick up at least two or three of those. And that's pretty much what I have for, um, like the kitchen stuff, the lights, the signs and stuff. Um, lastly, I do have over here, since I'm right here, might as well go ahead and finish off the video. Um, if you guys made it this far in the video, definitely thank you guys for watching. Um, I did get a chance to go into the store today. I was able to open up pretty much the boxes, uh, of the items. I did not see a skull dish towel set or um a pot holder on these but this one I did pick up because I thought the skull one with the um you know the skeleton hand I love skeletons I've always loved skeletons so the skeleton with the web and the spiders I thought was really cute so I did pick up one of those and then for the trick-or-treat I thought this was cute with like the skulls and then the like uh, pumpkin graveyard with the spiders and stuff like that and the webs and bats I did pick that up I did not pick up the dish towel set there is a dish towel set to match it I chose not to because um, I just kind of picked up some things I know I would really use and things that I didn't need. But I did want to get the pot holders and I did want to get this one um, for this one right here. I did not see the pot holders. I'm sure that they exist, but they were still putting stuff out. So if I find if I find them great, if I don't, I'm not upset about it. I'm sure I will see them at the stores, you know, between now and Friday because I'll probably go back into the same store on Friday. I'm sure they'll have them. I'm not going to be wor too worried about it. But like I said, what was most important to me is to get the oven mitt because I do do a lot of baking for Halloween. So this is like really important. I can use this. I mean, the pot holder is nice too because I'll use those to take stuff out of the oven as well. But this is fine because I'll use this one. I only needed one. I don't need more than two. I typically overbuy for Halloween, Christmas, um, Valentine's Day, red, white, and blue. I bought way too much stuff. I think I have like four to six bags from red, white, and blue for um, Dollar Tree as we speak upstairs and it's a hot mess so I'm just like I don't want to overbuy so I just bought kind of what I knew I wanted I knew from some of the videos that I watch on YouTube some of the other um content creators that shared stuff I knew that I wanted the gnomes I'm obsessed with gnomes I love gnomes I want everything that has gnomes on it for every single holiday they're like trick-or-treating or whatever this is such a bright happy print Halloween is very close neck and neck with Christmas for me now Christmas is still my number one but Halloween is very close and I'm super excited. And as you guys can hear in my voice, I had a rough day yesterday with this back spasm, going to the urgent care late at night, picking up prescription at like a 24 hour Walgreens. I had a time yesterday, I will tell you. So to be able to walk in today and see all these items, but I did go to my Dollar Tree yesterday and my little friend that works in there, she's like, oh yeah, I should be getting a bunch of stuff tomorrow. She's like, like 300 boxes. I was like, what? And I thought it was just in general, but girl, it was Halloween stuff. Yes, it was. So they're still putting stuff out. So it's going to be a lot of stuff. I say today by five or six o'clock, a store is going to be packed with stuff. So definitely start checking your Dollar Tree. Some people are not getting things yet um, at their stores. Stuff is just starting to fall into mine like this, this kind of items. My store has some basic stuff like crafting and things like that. But now they're starting to come out with like the decor, you know, the little treat stuff and all that. So the other thing, so you guys saw these. I showed you guys the napkins. I just did one pack. See the usual Leilani, 24 pieces in here. Usual Leilani would get like three and four packs. And I'd be like, oh my gosh, I have too many napkins. I'm not going crazy like that. I'm just going to get this one pack. If I go back and I see more or a different print, 
I'll probably grab some more at a later date, but I just need to get some stuff to get me started. And the sad part is, guys, I'm almost done with my Halloween decor stuff, like the TJ Maxx, the Marshalls Home Goods, the um, the Hobby Lobby fall stuff. Of course, Hobby Lobby does not do Halloween. If you guys didn't know that, they do not sell any Halloween stuff ever, ever. Um, it is pretty much coming to a close. I don't really get too many things from Walmart. I probably will check Walmart eventually to kind of see what they have, but I don't typically shop at Walmart for the holidays. That's that much. If I happen to be there and I find something, I'll grab it. But otherwise, I don't really shop there though for like the holidays that much. Um, these are the Frankenstein plates. I think these are absolutely adorable. I love these so much. I love how they gave us a Frankenstein gnome. They gave us a little Frankenstein bird. And then they gave us this cute little napkin set. These are just so fun. I love to have these for like, you know, watching a spooky movie by myself or with my kids. You guys know I have older children, so... My son's 22 and my daughter's 15. They don't typically watch a lot of movies and stuff with me all the time. The 15-year-old will watch a movie with me from time to time, something fun, like a love story or something, like a fall love story or something like that on like the Hallmark Channel or something like that. Um, my son sometimes will come in with my daughter and we'll watch a scary movie, but not too not too bloody gory. Just, you know, maybe a little gore, but not too much. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. And then over here, I have this adorable witch plate. I thought this was so cute. This looks like something from Target. And then I have the witches in sign. And then I have the little witch right there. So this goes perfect with that. And then last but absolutely not least is the little um, mummy. So I guess that's like a little piece of hair on top of his head. I feel like they could have left that off. Um, <laughs> I may even take these plates and just, well, I don't know if I'm going to cut that off, but it just looks kind of weird. I might cut that off and just make them circle plates. But yeah, guys, that is everything. That's my complete haul. Once again, thank you guys for watching. Let me know if you guys found any things of any of these items out and about. And that's pretty much it. Um, I will see you guys in the next video. Happy haunting. Bye.